Okay, real quick, never tried to do this before. I'm gonna try to drive this amplifier into clipping. Got it, the dummy load set up here. This is two, 200, no, two 100 watt four ohm resistors tied in series. Theoretically, not enough wattage. <laughs> uh, I got the scope hooked up to that. The DAC, I got the, I got the output coming out the uh, headphone amplifier of the DAC, maybe to give a little more juice that way. I'm turning that all the way up. Um, what we got on the scope right now? Okay, it's showing eight volts. Right down there, I've got, we're playing the um, 1K at minus 18 dBF. I'm gonna start cranking this up. All right, I'm watching the scope. Almost 100 volts. So 100 volts peak to peak into 8 ohms. What is that? So RMS would be 100 times 0.35355. And we'd, we would multiply that by itself times 35. And then we divide that by 8. And that would give us RMS power, 154 watts RMS into 8 ohms. So is it hitting its spec? 250 watts into 8 ohms. It doesn't say. <laughs> It doesn't say watts RMS, right? It says 250 into eight, but it doesn't say 250 RMS into eight. I'm getting 154 RMS. This thing says right here that the maximum total output voltage of the sine wave should be plus and minus 67 volts. That's, a, that's over 120 volts and I'm only getting 100. Like my beard. We'll see if I can get a job as a mall Santa. It occurred to me the other day when I did a when I, I tried to do the power test, right? To view on the scope the maximum voltage, get the amplifier to go up to clipping. Um, and it peaked out at 100 volts, but the spec says it should be able to go up to about 120 volts. Now, I thought it was odd that it was exactly 100, 100 volts that it peaked out at. So I got to thinking about it and I was like, maybe it's not my amplifier that's peaking out, clipping, maybe it's the probe, maybe it's the scope, maybe it's the oscilloscope. And it wouldn't, you know, this oscilloscope, is, it's about the cheapest oscilloscope you can get. So I was thinking, well, so what I need probably is a voltage divider to cut that voltage in half before I put it into the, to the probe, the scope probe, right? Because then if I'm at 100 volts, what I should see on the scope is 50. If, I'm at, if I've got a, a voltage divider that has two resistors that are the same value. Well, it occurred to me that the way I've got my dummy load rigged up, I've got, I've got two 4 ohm uh, 100 watt resistors in series. So I've already got a voltage divider. So let's let's try to do this power test again and see if, uh, well first let's see if my voltage divider idea is accurate. The 
But back here is the voltage of the dummy load. Right now, I've got the probe all the way across both resistors. And let's see what we've got on the scope. So right now it says we've got 5 volts. We're down here, right? New display. We got five volts. Let me crank it up a little more. Okay, that's 10, 13 volts. Channel one. Uh, channel one is yellow. Channel two is blue. Uh, channel two is the input coming from the uh, coming in the backside of the amplifier. It's the source. The yellow trace is the output of the amplifier. So at this voltage level, let's say at, right at 17, if I move that probe to the to inside to the middle to inside these two I should be getting what 17 would be um, about eight and a half eight point seven so yeah I think I think my <laughs> my logic is correct so now the voltage we see here is actually double um, what's going on out, out in the real world. So I'm going to crank it up and see where it starts to clip. So that's 50 volts right there. We're already 67, 64.6 has a tiny clip on the bottom. I don't have final grain control and I'm going to turn it back down real quick because it gets hot fast, especially those resistors. But I think at 64, we've probably got a pretty clean signal. Yeah, that's, that's getting warm. Yeah, that's hot enough that it's, uh, I, gotta, I gotta wet my finger <laughs> to touch it. So it's really hot. And, uh, and those resistors are, you know, the two of them in, in series gives you 200 watts. We're, we're probably we're probably running more than that. So if we bring out the old calculator, let's call it 64 volts. Call it 63 because there was a little, maybe a little bit of a clip there. Okay, 126 peak to peak. Multiply that by 0.35. Three, five, five. That will give us RMS voltage. Multiply that by itself. So let's say times. Let's do memory plus. This will be times memory recall. Now you divide that by eight. Yeah, that's RMS voltage. Oh, I'm sorry, RMS power. Wattage, RMS wattage, 248 watts. And that, the spec says 250, um, so that's pretty good. That's really good. I think it's definitely performing to its specification when it comes to power. So the only thing I really can't measure very well well, frequent, you, so you saw my frequency response measurements. Um, what I can't measure very well is distortion. And what I'm measuring right now is looking bad. The distortion looks bad, but my equipment um, is not the greatest in the world. What I got right here is the, um, the blue trace is the fast forward transform down here at, I'm going to set it at 2 kilohertz. At 2 kilohertz, with the number of divisions I've got going across the screen here, um, we should be seeing just the audio range. So anything off to the right is above hearing. So I've got my source signal coming in here on the first division, right? That's 1 kilohertz. Everything below. <laughs> Everything below one kilohertz, everything, all your bases, and then you know, some of your low mid range is packed in down in here. This is not a logarithmic scale. The, so what this is showing me right now is that the source has no harmonics, right? 
and but when I turn on the amplifier, I've got a good gain. Um, it's twice the source, so I guess that's what that's telling me. Now, I don't, I can't, I find it really hard to believe that these harmonics are half the power of the primary. I should. I, I would think that if these harmonics were really in the signal, I would, were really there, I'd be able to hear them. And I can't. I can't hear these harmonics. It doesn't sound like you know a trumpet blowing. It sounds like a a one k tone. As I bring up the voltage, um, <laughs> the harmonics are going down and the the primary is going up. Now. This could also, this could be a logarithmic scale. If it is, it would make a lot more sense. That would mean that. But, but without knowing what the scale is on the left, I have no way of knowing what the peak is. You know, there's going to be harmonics. It's just a question of, you know, how many or how bad. And this is saying, this, is, this looks really bad. But if, the, if, it, if it's a logarithmic scale, it might not be as bad as it seems. Now, I want to throw another, I'm at 18 volts right now, it's a little hot. I'm going to throw another wrench in the gear works. I'm going to crank it back down to 8 because right about 7, 6 or 7 right in here, this is where I can change my scope probe to 1K, to 1X from 10X. Oh, and I'm also in the middle down here, aren't I? Let me bring this back out to the, uh, ah. <laughs> melted my probe again. <sighs> wow, it's stuck. There we go. I've ruined this poor scope probe. All right, so now I'm back out. So I'm at 15 volts. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. If I don't bring it down, I'll clip. It'll clip when I go to 1X. So now I can go to 1X. And we change this up here to what's telling me that I'm 1x. And I'm on 1 volt per division. Look what happens. <laughs> so what is, what is the truth? This, look at this. It's like just changing this thing to tell it that I'm on a, a 1x probe. Right, and then change them up. Well, I don't think that this didn't help change it that much, did it? No, it was telling me that I was on a 1x Pro. And now the reading is completely different, right? I've got a, a fairly strong first order harmonic, but then after that, you know, second, third, there's a fourth that's fairly strong, fifth, sixth that's fairly strong. But it's nothing like so basically. I think all I'm really telling, all I'm really trying to say here is that I don't have my head wrapped around, nor do I know how, <laughs> to use this, any of this equipment to try to measure distortion or noise. Distortion and or noise. So I, I'm not going to try to make any, I'm just not going to try to make any statements about it. And I'm going to hope that it performs to its spec. So, that's the measurements on the uh, LJM L25 amplifier. When I did that power test with the scope probe connected between the uh, two 4 ohm resistors there, I didn't realize how hot they were getting in very short, a very short amount of time. They got hot enough to melt. <laughs> Pretty much ruined my scope probe clip here, so. Yeah, let's put out some power. <laughs>